10 o'clock. What video am I on? I'm on. Yesterday was a great day. We got up early, we drove up to Aspen, we went hiking, we went and got food, we all hung out, we went Devil's Punch Bowl, and I jumped this 30 some foot clip. I don't know. It was a great day. And just as exciting as yesterday was, I am. I'm actually just as excited to be here today as I was to go yesterday. I'm not saying that me being at my desk is as fun as it is hiking and doing awesome things in the mountains, but I I love both equally. I, I can't wait to get back here. I couldn't wait to get back here and get work done because I'm kind of behind and I really want to get a lot of my major projects or a lot of my catch-up done real quick so I can start on my big ones that I've been waiting on. Especially yesterday, being up in, in these giant Rocky Mountains that have been here forever. For instance, when we were midway on one mountain, and we were able to see another mountain in full scale. Yeah, that that was just I couldn't I can't even fathom how to uh, how to explain that. And I got out the gear that I had, and with what I had, I could not portray or could not show how vast these mountains were. And obviously, everybody knows that they're big, but really, when you get up there, they, it just you get this sense of how big the world is, and it's amazing. And at that point, I was like, you know what? A drone would really help tell this story. And and I've been talking to one of my good friends, John. We discuss a lot of work things, a lot of product stuff, and a lot of entities together. And he has made the point and discussed with me the fact that owning a drone is cool, but how can you incorporate it? And that's the way I think I'm going to be able to... Um, that's the way I'm going to be able to mix drone footage and cool aerial shots in with what I'm doing because I want to spend a lot more time out west in the mountains and if once a week one of my episodes has some great scenery, that's going to be awesome and that's worth it to me. So I need to get a lot of my projects caught up so I can start on my bigger projects and start doing some cooler things here. So let's do today. I've got 27, 27 episodes that I'm behind. I missed a little bit while Sean was here. It's okay. I'm going to catch them up. And I, have, I, I said I would finish them by July. And when July is done, or before July is done, thus I have... 16 days to finish 27 episodes. If I do at least like three a day, and obviously I'm going to do more, and but minimum three a day, I should be able to knock them out in nine days. So that's that's goal number one. Caught up on vlogs so that every day I can just finish one in the morning and spend the rest of the day doing tons more other stuff. So that's why I'm here today. I've got my I've got my network here too. I've got my new sir. Got my new NAS here, and I. Been slowly starting to put stuff off on it, and it's it, I've got a lot of projects, and this is what this was all about, and I am very excited to be here still. Every day has been getting better, except for my back. My lower back kills. I need to work out and stretch it out more. I also want one of those machines that kind of tilts you upside down and hangs you, so you can kind of stretch out your spine. It's probably a cheaper way to do it, but it's all on the list of things I want. And two more. I have been editing for X straight hours now, and I literally, two episodes just got done with the episode talking about how my computer shut off, and then everything restarted. I know I haven't recorded hardly anything today. I've been literally on my computer trying to get as much work done as possible and getting distracted from that. But Maddie needs to go to Vail tomorrow and doesn't know how to downshift her car. So we need to practice that before her engine catches on, or excuse me, brakes catch on fire. This is a lesson to everybody. If you're going down the hills, don't lay on your brake. Bring that guy down.